everybody welcome back to my channel today i am joined by riley and becky and we are going to be giving you swimwear tips for plus size women so i hope you like it make sure to check both girls out i'm going to link them in the description down below and before we get into this video please make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the little bell button to not miss any of my future uploads and let's get right into the video so Riley here is an amazing um, plus size model today. So I wanted to invite her in because I know a lot of you have been asking me about giving plus size tips and I feel like it's best coming from somebody like you because you have experience being in the industry, learning how to pose, how to you know accentuate your curves and all this kind of stuff. So how, what do you do when you prepare for shoots and like how you style yourself and how do you pick stuff? Because you know, looking right for the photo shoot is like the first part of success, I feel like. Yeah, that's true. If you're not feeling confident, it's gonna show in all the photos. Um, so what I like to do is pick out, especially if I'm doing swim, um, ones that come up high and accentuate my waist. Um, coverage in the parts that like my lower stomach just make sure you try all the swim on um, and look at yourself in the mirror and try the different poses and to see how they look on your body coverage in the back as well so like this one's a perfect example it comes up and has a bit of coverage in the back so yeah just anything that I love the look of on me I know that that's gonna show the best in photos and I'm gonna be the most yeah. confident so if you don't feel like you look good in something it's just gonna show on photos and you will be uncomfortable and we don't really want that yeah for sure yeah and like you said things that fit right so anything that's gonna be cutting in um, I try and stay well away from so things that sit nicely on your body and nice and flat and comfortable so when we're shooting you have to pick the right light for your model as well i find with direct sun sometimes it works very well because it kind of blurs out certain imperfections but depending on the position of the sun and how high it is in the sky it can look a bit unflattering especially if it's around uh, midday if it's like 12 o'clock it's going to look very harsh and it's going to accentuate any like cellulite or any bumps or anything you have in your skin so at the moment we're shooting in there early in the morning so the sun is very flattering and it will just like blur out any kind of imperfections or anything that's uneven or whatever um, but if we were shooting later in the day we would probably stick to the shade a bit more because it is a bit more forgiving in that sense. So we're gonna take a few photos in the shade now just to kind of demonstrate against the sun how it looks, beautiful just see okay it's a bit darker so in general if you are worried about how your body is gonna look make sure to pick the right time of the day if you're shooting in full sun and especially if it's swimwear as i said the worst thing you can do for yourself and for your body is to shoot around midday it's the harshest light it's so hard to manage you will get panda eyes you will get weird shadows everywhere all over your body very quick editor's note as i was editing it i thought it was very interesting to demonstrate how the sun affects how you look as you see on my face you have very dark shadows around my mouth and even you know kind of creating like a little double chin and panda eyes and it just demonstrates how unforgiving light like that can be so when you're shooting with your model please make sure that you choose the right lighting because it is key for those kind of shots we're gonna demonstrate some poses now, uh, what to do and what not to do. So for the first example, she's just standing straight, kind of, you know, hands on her waist, which kind of looks like she's uncomfortable, like she doesn't really want to be here. We both know that's a lie. Okay, so we'll take a photo here. And now let's correct, yeah, let's straighten it out. So, you know, it's all about confidence and how you come across on photos. You want to pull your shoulders back you know kind of expose your chest you don't want to be crossing your arms in any way because it always kind of signals that you look uncomfortable it's always better to maybe as Riley's doing pop your hands on your hip stick out your bum maybe be a bit more sideways as well that's beautiful yeah if you are struggling with double chin it's always a good idea raise your face a tiny bit and then try and stick it out yeah beautiful or even if you're a bit more straight on, but you just stick it out like that. Yes, beautiful. If you are not super comfortable with posing and you don't know what looks good, it's always very helpful to have um, something to rest against and so on. So if we have like a 
pretty straight pose here. Lovely. It's a nice photo, but you know, could be better. And now let's rest against this. So it's always nicer because it gets you something. So like rest your arms again. So it kind of elongates your limbs. Beautiful, yes. And it breaks up the shot a tiny bit and just makes it look much more interesting. Don't straighten your arms too much. Yes. That's another tip. You don't really want to have any super straight angles. You always want to have like a soft bend in your arms and legs. And in general, the same with like waist, when you're like pushing your hips sideways, it's all about creating those soft curves. Because otherwise, if you are too straight or too angular, it's just um, very harsh. That's lovely. Yes, perfect. So yeah, in general, doing this tiny little movement of being either straight and then pushing out your hip. It's like about the tiny little tilt. Exactly. So have one straight on and then one with a tilt. Okay, straight on and now tilt. Yes, perfect. And always remember about having um, pointed toes. It's always so much nicer to, to have pointed toes, even if you're not wearing heels or, or you're at the beach. It uh, makes your legs way longer and it makes you look way more slender. Um, it's gorgeous. Yeah, beautiful. Let's show that. Yes, absolutely. Do a bad pose first and have your hand up like this, because a lot of girls do that to kind of like cover their curves rather than like what you do where you put your arm back. Yeah. yeah, even like hands to the face. And it almost makes you look bigger. And now put your hand back how you normally pose. Yeah, and the thing is you don't want to make you look skinny. We just want to bring out your curves and like, yeah, that's gorgeous. And tilt your head back a bit. Yeah, that completely changes it. And then do that same pose, but have your leg in a bad position, like just next to you. Yeah, exactly. So it's like focusing on the leg and just like, yeah. So you can see her hip isn't her actual hip. It's almost making it bigger. And then do your normal pose, Riley, with your other leg. Yeah, and that really just pulls those curves in, pulls her stomach right. Looks amazing. This next one demonstrates the importance of angles. As you guys see, it doesn't do much for the photographer or for the model. She doesn't have much shape in her body and it's just not the best pose for anybody. In the second part, um, Becky asked Riley to stand in her usual pose, pop her hip out and put her leg one in front of the other. And this way we are creating some really nice strong curves and just adding a lot of shape to the body and it makes her look so much more confident and beautiful. Finally, if you're working with a model that is a bit more top heavy, it's always a good idea to twist her slightly at a 45 degree angle. This way you create some really nice strong shapes in her body. You're going to center in at her waistline a tiny bit and add a bit more hip definition, which is going to create an illusion of an hourglass shape. So um, another thing that you have to keep in mind from a photographer's point of view is the angle you choose for shooting with your models. You can either shoot from down below eye level or higher than the model but you have to keep in mind that this decision will affect how the photos look so for example if i'm shooting from down below it will make my subject in general look bigger whatever is in front of the camera will look bigger so if she's sticking out her leg towards me or her arm it's always going to look a bit bigger than the rest of her body not necessarily the way she looks it's just the way the camera picks it up if you shoot it at eye level it's usually the most flattering for those kind of shots because it's the most realistic look it kind of looks like um, like you would see with your norm uh, with your eyes um, and then if you're shooting above as well it's gonna make the model look even smaller but it's kind of going to make her look shorter as well which you don't necessarily want you don't want to look short it's also um, a lot about the focal length that you use. If you use 70 or 50, um, it's usually, it fills up the frame a bit more. So I find that the lower you shoot on the spectrum, the longer your model ten tends to look. I use that a lot with my fashion and my swimwear that I shoot as well, because if you shoot on 35, the legs are usually going to be way more elongated looking and so on than they would with a 50 or 70. For the shots taken from behind, similar rules to the front poses apply. You have to put one leg in front of the other and push out the hip to the side. It always helps to make the body look a bit more curvy. 
Also, as Becky is pointing out, it's very important how you style your swimwear and how to put it on your body because it's going to affect how the final images are looking. So having the swimwear out like this compared to how Riley normally has it, it's 100% your preference for your, the model. If you are more comfortable doing this, just do this. But I'll show you both ways just to show the difference that it can make on your bottom. Okay, so stand like flat on without posing first. Yeah. And now do your normal pose with like one leg out to the side. By pulling it up a little bit higher to your waist, just brings out those curves, but it 100% depends on the girl. Riley's waist and her legs, she doesn't have this indent like even I do. It just goes like all the way around. For myself, I would have it pulled out just so it sits here instead of up here. But every single girl is different with curves, so you just wanna make sure it works for them. Another important thing is where to put your arms with the back poses as demonstrated by Becky and Riley. And then have them just flat beside your waist. Yeah, and then even bring them in right in front. Yeah, so that's a bad pose because even you can see under her arms in the photos, lift your arms up again and it completely brings the curves in. It's amazing. Yeah, that looks so good, Riley. Okay, so... Yeah, just by leaning forward, it gives you almost bad angles. So I'll show you what this looks like. And then if you lean back, yeah, and it just really brings out those curves. Even put that other hand behind you or up in your hair and see like Riley's already got a really flat stomach. So just if you sit forward, it just makes it completely different from how it is in real life. What if you have like one leg flat, like this leg flat and this one kind of on top of the other one? Yeah, like that. That doesn't look as flattering for curve. So even, okay, so like a size 8 or 10 model, I would do that with. But as soon as you've got curves, it, it's harder. it just makes it a little bit harder. Yeah. And it's harder for them to like stretch out and like bring those hips out. Um, but also by adding stairs, do you want to go sit on yeah, cause in your legs those ones? So close, like They're not right there. Now. You can kind of like lean back a little bit. I reckon these ones will work. Switch legs for me. Yeah, that looks really good. Yeah, so even sit forward for a second, just so you can see like, so if you do this, you can see in her hips, uh, the lines it's creating and then sit with like backwards, like you normally do. Yeah, and bend your left leg, but even this, so if you swap legs, Riley, swap legs for me and really like straighten that one out, it completely changes it. Yeah, always by pointing the toes as well. I feel like that's every model, not just curve. Just kind of pointing them a little bit, like extend your leg. That's the other thing with curve is like, obviously their bottoms are bigger. So normal step sizes, it can be a little bit difficult to sit on. So you just gotta make sure the model's comfortable. And if they're not, just change it. There's no issues with that. So any like, like on the side of pools or like, kind of like even just bigger steps where you can hang your legs. It just makes you a little bit longer than them sitting up a little bit higher. And it just gives you that opportunity to put your hand back and kind of stretch out rather than being so like closed quarters. Becky here so takes a lot awkward. of beautiful, beautiful plus size uh, shots as well. Yeah. So um, is there anything you find different between shooting plus size, especially with swimwear, shooting plus size and shooting um, just regular like girls? Just the leg positions mainly and like upper body, it's not that different from shooting normal like size sixes or 18s. You, it, it always works the same. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's just always about talking during the shoot saying like that leg looks really good or like, mm -hmm keep that position but just change your shoulder to the left a little bit or something like that and never like being like nitpicking at certain things yeah just say yes that's amazing and i like, find in general the more comfortable we are as photographers on the shoots the more comfortable yeah. the model is going mm -hmm. to be because if she thinks you're liking the like i i guess 
I guess it's like that for you. If you see that the photographer is really happy with the photos, it like makes you feel more fierce. Yeah, like, you're like, like oh up. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're like. But if the, the mod, the photographer is like, eh, yeah, 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 let's try mm, this. So, yeah, that's not really. Uh, and then you're like, oh shit, what is happening? The yeah. Of times so. like in a shoot, I'm like, love that, love that, <laughs> love that. That's like my key of like, I actually love that. Yeah. Keep doing that. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Exactly, and it's. I feel like it's more. Um, you know, it helps. Okay guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed our swimwear tips for plus size women. Thank you so much Riley and Becky for joining me. Again, make sure to check them out. I'm going to link them down in the description. And if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time.